have some, how do you want to answer that? Um, well, we're projecting what, that we have been able to tap a pool of about 80,000 to 100,000 a yes. year. Um, and that demand will be increasing if we want to reach our accelerated rate. Um, we'll yes. be employing 130,000 next year, we hope, and it will go up there until by 2016, we'll be happy to uh, em uh, employ over 200. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So the gap will be about 30,000 yeah. in the beginning yes. and it will grow increasingly larger if we're not able to shift the supply. Yes. How about so at present we are just we're around 30,000 unable to meet at the moment, meet the demand that we're on it. You know, it's a very hard question to answer because what's the revenue we should have had if we had more people? It's, yeah. it's a bit of a theoretical uh, question. Okay. So my, the other way of saying it is, for example, our base case is to hit 20 billion and grow at 15% per annum, hit 20 billion by 2016. Uh, if we improve the supply, we are confident there's demand so we could sell 25 billion. So there's a $5 billion gap there. Which in, you can, which in revenues, which you can attribute to we didn't have enough people, right? Or employment-wise, rather than having 1.2 million, we would only have 900,000. Employed because there's a cumulative, you're falling behind what you could have sold. So the Philippines actually has a very nice problem where anything yeah. we produce we can sell. The problem is we just need to produce more, right? So normally you're worried how, how can I get the customers to buy? That's not our challenge. Our challenge is manufacturing more. How many companies?